Hey guys, I'm Roland Techfusius, and I've used the Huawei Watch GT5 for about two weeks, and here's how it went. Let's take a look. The Huawei Watch GT5 follows the classic design from the GT series, featuring delicate curves. I'm using the 46mm model, which is made of stainless steel, instead of titanium on the Watch GT5 Pro. Putting the Watch GT5 and GT5 Pro side by side reveals that they're very similar in terms of looks. The only difference between the two watches is that the non-Pro model features more curvy sides, while the Pro has slightly steeper angles, although the difference is minimal. Moving over to the case, the stainless steel feels premium and elegant. It's compatible with third-party straps, including Huawei's own selection that's offered on the company's website. The watch has an iconic shape and looks, and the GT5 is a bit reminiscent of the Watch GT4, which I reviewed last year. It's a high-quality, premium smartwatch that's relatively affordable. The right side of the watch features a rotating crown and a dedicated shortcut button, which lets you quickly jump into a workout. There's also a speaker neatly tucked away, while the left side only houses a tiny microphone for phone calls. The Watch GT5 also features ingress protection, although this isn't quite as rugged as its pro counterpart. Still, the watch features a 5ATM and IP69K certificate, making it a swim-proof and dust-resistant watch. It's a great wearable to wear while tracking swim sessions, and taking it down to the beach shouldn't cause any issues. If you're looking for a watch that's great for divers, you'll have to pay a bit more for the Huawei Watch GT5 Pro instead of the standard model. And before I go further, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I know that most of you are probably new on the channel and aren't already subscribed, so if you like what you're seeing, please press the button down below. I frequently review tech including smartphones, wearables, earbuds and even laptops, so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider subscribing. And now, back to the video. Overall, the Huawei Watch GT5 is a stunning smartwatch with a classic design and premium build quality. It feels elegant regardless of the watch face or strap you choose, and it's great to see Huawei retaining its excellent design with some minor improvements for another revision. The GT5 features a 1.43 inch AMOLED display with the same resolution as the 45mm Pro model. This results in a sharp, colourful and bright panel that's easy to see in any environment, even in direct sunlight. Using the watch outside was always a great experience. Text was easily readable and the icons were legible, and it was always easy to tell the time and see notifications. Even at night in a pitch black room, the watch was dim enough to read it perfectly without any issues. The screen is covered by glass which prevents scratches and everyday wear. It kept the watch protected even when I smashed it on a door frame or even on my table. <laughs> if you need a fantastic screen that can adapt to you, then the Watch GT5 is a solid choice. The software of the Watch GT5 is very similar to the previous GT generations. You're still required to use the Huawei Health app to track activities, connect and set up the watch. Luckily, the first time setup process was quick and easy and only took about 5 minutes. It's also worth pointing out that both the GT5 and GT5 Pro work with all smartphones that run Android, iOS or Harmony OS. All devices support phone calls, yes, even the iPhone, and it's great to see a smartwatch that works across multiple platforms without many limitations, but more on that later. The health app offers various metrics such as the heart rate, sleep tracking, blood oxygen and skin temperature details. Here you can see all of your current and previous readings, helping you better understand how to improve your workouts and lifestyle. And while we're on the topic of tracking stuff, it's worth mentioning that the GT5 can track more than 100 sports activities, including swimming, weightlifting, running and so much more. All of these are available using the app on the watch, or by using the dedicated shortcut button on the side. The watch benefits from Huawei's TrueSense technology that has been greatly improved to increase the precision of health tracking. The watch also has a dual-band sunflower GPS technology with more accurate location tracking. If you're curious, the GT5 doesn't have the golf mode and trail run features like its pro counterpart, so if that's something you're interested in using, you'll have to pay a bit more. As for the rest of the experience, the GT5 is a solid smartwatch. The settings are easy to use, access and understand, and the watch offers tens of thousands of watch faces that suit your needs and unique style. There are thousands of free and premium watch faces so you have plenty of options to choose from. In my personal experience, the watch was pretty much spot on. It tracked my heart rate, sleep, steps and calories accurately. I never found any discrepancies in the reporting and I can easily recommend it for its straightforward and intuitive tracking features. The heart rate and blood oxygen features are also very useful and the results were on par with my expectations, even when compared to other devices. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are a few nitpicks and things that didn't work or aren't supported 
supported. First, it's contactless payments. Huawei Wallet is available in the app and on the watch, but it's limited to a handful of countries such as China and other regions in Asia. Second, it doesn't have ECG, so if that's essential for you, then you have to upgrade to the Huawei Watch GT5 Pro, which costs £100 more. And third, the Huawei app gallery doesn't offer popular and well-known apps such as Spotify and various other sports services. Now, Huawei does offer a few other useful alternatives, but this relies on you using the company's own petal maps and other supplementary services. If you're okay with these choices, then you're pretty much set up and have nothing to worry about, but if you rely on your preferred runner app, then you have to find a way to export your data manually. So, to summarise, the Watch GT5 is an accurate, precise and beautiful smartwatch. It allows you to track just about all of your health metrics with ease, and it's intuitive and straightforward to use and customise to match your unique style. When it comes to the battery, Huawei quotes 14 days on a single charge with maximum usage, 9 days with regular use or 5 days with the always on display enabled. This is on par with the Watch GT5 Pro, just like my overall experience. Having used the watch in the past 2 weeks, I only had to top up the watch once when I hit about 15% of charge. As someone who didn't work out a lot, I can confidently say that with every tracking method enabled, the Watch GT5 can easily last for up to 2 weeks without a problem. Even those who work out will likely be able to get up to 7 days on a single charge using the GPS and various sports tracking features. Of course, you can expect a lot less if you rely on the always on display, but that's the price you pay for having the display on all the time. Charging is easy and straightforward. The magnetic charging cradle easily lines up with the base of the watch, providing a full charge in about an hour. The process is efficient and relatively quick, so if you're someone who only wants to charge once a week or every 10 days or so, this is the watch for you. So, should you buy the Huawei Watch GT5? If you're looking for a stylish smartwatch with a premium build quality, lots of sports and tracking features, thousands of watch faces and a solid battery life, then the Watch GT5 is an excellent choice. Sure enough, it doesn't have an ECG, contactless payments and support for popular apps, but it offers a premium package that's affordable, beautiful and customizable to your liking and unique needs. It's an excellent smartwatch for those who want to get in shape or improve their workouts, and while it might not have all of the golf and the trail features from the Watch GT5 Pro, it still offers a complete experience for most users who just want a reliable and stunning smartwatch. I know that many of you might also be tempted to go with an Apple Watch or other competing products from Samsung or Google, but if you want a wearable that works seamlessly with both iOS and Android devices, there's nothing else on the market that offers such a versatile feature set as the Watch GT5. The Huawei Watch GT5 retails for £230 and is available in the UK, Europe and a few other regions in Asia. That price represents great value for money and the company promised the GT5 would receive updates until at least September 2026, making it a great choice for the next few years. And there you have it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in my review of the Huawei Watch GT5 Pro, you can check it out on the link in the description. And with all that said, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.